Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. In recent years, we have witnessed an explosion in type 2 diabetes. It was once a relatively rare disease. Now the incidence and prevalence of type 2 diabetes is going through the roof, being diagnosed in older adults, middle-aged adults, younger adults, and also teenagers. Things are getting worse every single year. Make no mistake about it, this is a full-blown pandemic. And the consequences of this are quite catastrophic. 2 million people, yes, 2 million people are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes every single year in the United States. And tens of millions of people are yet undiagnosed. The condition preceding this, pre-diabetes, often lingers for years. This is also known as insulin resistance. Getting worse with each passing year till eventually someone is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And let's distinguish for a moment between type 2 diabetes and type 1 diabetes because some people get confused. Type 1 diabetes is usually genetic and is diagnosed earlier in life and it is due to pancreatic cell failure or lack of insulin whereas type 2 diabetes is usually diagnosed later in life although now people are getting younger and younger but typically this is a lifestyle related disease due to insulin resistance or too much insulin many factors are contributing to this alarming trend with type 2 diabetes including first and foremost a toxic food supply consisting primarily of ultra processed foods refined carbs and sugars in unbelievable amounts that were unthinkable a few decades ago Throw in a toxic environment and a toxic modern mainstream culture that doesn't want to solve problems or get to root causes and you have a toxic mix ripe for this explosion in type 2 diabetes. But amongst all this disease and suffering, because type 2 diabetes is invariably a chronic disease, the way we treat it anyway, there is a clear winner here from this catastrophe because type 2 diabetes invariably leads to more and more pills, injections, more and more procedures, more and more doctor visits. At least the way we treat it, that is the path that everyone is on. There is a clear winner here. Huge swathes of the medical establishment. And yes, that includes the pharmaceutical industry because really, are the pharmaceutical industry and the medical establishment separate? They are the clear winners. Annual spending on type 2 diabetes in the United States is approaching $500 billion a year. Think about that. That is more than the GDP of entire nations. And approximately 10% of that is spent on medications. And make no mistake at all. There are huge segments of the medical establishment that absolutely salivate when someone is newly diagnosed with diabetes because they know what comes next. A lifetime of pills piled onto each other, more and more tablets, then the injections start. A merry-go-round of different doctor visits. You see all manner of specialists. You get diabetes complications no matter what because we aren't addressing the root problem. But this is a complete bonanza for large segments of the establishment. A type 2 diabetic becomes a cash cow for the medical industry. And of course, who suffers in the end? Yes, of course, the patient. Because anybody who is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes is invariably set up to go down a path of more and more complications. Basically, every organ system is affected. From your heart, to your kidneys, to your nerves, to your eyes, you name it, will be affected by type 2 diabetes. And the idea that we quote-unquote control diabetes with pills and injections is a complete fallacy. Yes, you will fix the number, you might fix the blood glucose, but the bigger problem is the upstream issue of insulin resistance. Why do you think that complications from diabetes keep getting worse every single year? It's because we never deal with the upstream problem. We never get to the root cause of insulin resistance. And we think that by piling on these medications and injections, we are fixing or controlling type 2 diabetes. We are not. We are still setting people up for a lifetime of chronic conditions, complications, and suffering. The medical establishment encourages this dependent way of thinking. You're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, so your life is going to be pills and then injections for the rest of your life. Constant doctor visits, constant specialist visits, but it doesn't have to be that way. How many people with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes 
are seriously told that in a matter of weeks, you can naturally reverse type 2 diabetes and never have to deal with the complications. Of course, by adopting healthier lifestyle habits primarily, but anybody can adopt the right lifestyle habits by just getting into the pattern and understanding the science behind what's happening. The science of a diet that keeps your insulin levels low. The science of adequate antioxidant intake. The science of throwing in a few healthy supplements. The science of engaging in cardiovascular exercise, including strength training. Working on any stress in your life. Getting an adequate amount of sleep every night so that your hormonal balance isn't thrown off. All of these things can help people. And in a matter of weeks, type 2 diabetes can be reversed. And I've worked with many, many people successfully reversing their type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance in a short amount of time. It is very possible to do that. And of course, as a lifestyle medicine physician, a huge part of my work is dedicated to reversing type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, and insulin resistance. And if you would like to know more about that specifically, please do sign up for my free newsletter dedicated to that topic. For anybody who is interested in naturally reversing any of these conditions, type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, or insulin resistance, I'm happy to share with you additional educational resources and information because I believe anybody can do this and I've worked with many, many people. Let me say it again, type 2 diabetes is not your destiny. The establishment, the system is setting a majority of people up for this diagnosis and a lifetime of disease and suffering. That does not have to be you. Do not let them profit off you. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to comment down below. Dr. Sunil Dand, also check out my health academy. That link is down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. That really helps with the algorithm and getting these videos shared as widely as possible. We will speak again in the next video.